the look in the end will be fun and at the same time be sophisticated and modern. It's as if memoirs of a geisha, Matt Barney. <laughs> oh, take the camera lens off might help. <laughs> okay, so what we did for those corners that I was telling about of the square, uh, the long ones are on the corner. And then we have these short, we have these shorter ones. <laughs> that are in the middle. When we lay that square out, figure like one of those long poles is gonna be your front yard. This is the front of the structure. I'm facing towards the man. Okay. That's east, that's west. That way the sun is basically at your back. Any shadow keeps underneath the shade structure because if you had it turned, let's say, then if the sun rises back there, you're in, you're in shade during the day, but in the afternoon, you're gonna have the sun just beaming straight into the state structure where you're chilling out. That's no fun. Oh, gun show. <laughs> ah, the connector bag. This is the magic tool. So always keep this here. It's in the connector bag, always. Let's say I'm tightening something over here. I tighten it and I'm done. I don't wanna carry it. So I'm going to put it over there. Oh. These are for the corners. Okay. It's going to sit on the corner and the support pole is going to go up top. Okay. And that, these are for the corners. Gotcha. Um, this type will go in the middle. You put the who's it on the how's it and the angle of the dangle. These, you got to have one vertical and one horizontal. So first, we put, we, we construct the square. Sizing. Sizing tool. Ooh. What I usually do is I get some rebar and I put it into each corner just so you know where it's going to be. Tent stakes, uh, rebar, put them in the corners. Put okay. In the corner. Let's do it. How did I get in charge of this? <laughs> so we are installing the corner in. poles. Oh, I remember doing this in the middle of the night. Yeah. What do we do with the flags on the vertical? Should we put those on first before we raise up the, the roof? You should. Somebody bring a monkey. For today, I only have the 12 foot support <laughs> poles monkey. for each corner. <laughs> we uh, often have 20 foot support poles and we put flags up there. It's really nice. Working in unison, we're raising it up a bit. You can do it together, and because there's going to be multiple people there, that's that's easier. I've done uh, alone, so it can be done alone. Yeah, we need some taller people in that corner. Think tall, Ann. I'm working on it. All right. <laughs> Six and a half, seven feet is the height. That's a good idea. I have the same person do it as high as they can reach. But we are at a slant. So the corners are, are on, it's raised up to about six and a half feet on each side. And the side poles now. All right, side poles. The other edge. Yeah. So, this thing, we should probably put on this pole, on the support pole. So if it's yeah. here, oh, gotcha. we we'll be able to... Okay, that's there. something we need to know. Well, I've done it like this before, and I just don't remember. No, I get yeah. You know what? We have more of those, right? We have backup? Yeah, we have more. At this point, it's a good idea to walk around to look at the angles to make sure everything's kind of as square as possible. Because I can, like, looking at this right yeah, here, that's not... I, I see that this uh, support pole is, like, fucked up. Wait, wait, wait. I just want to make sure. Okay. Why don't we just yes, exactly. Uh, cool. Just like that. Now, it doesn't go at an angle. It doesn't go out at an angle. The square? That was going to be my question. The square. So there's, but there's two ropes on every corner, right? Yeah. That again, Courtney, the knot stay, <laughs> stay in the guy wires. These have purpose. We <laughs> just don't know yet what they mean. The best way to figure out how far these rebar things are going to need to go away from the shade structure is to actually get one of the tarps. Because those are a limited length, and when we put that out, we'll know exactly where the rebar should go. We're going to start from the back corner here. So this first tarp, when we tie it up, it's going to go not just around this bottom one, but it's going to go around the, the support pole. And you tie them up like they're your shoelaces. That way at the end, when we're breaking down, it's easy to just undo that little 
uh, rope piece. Instead of, if you have a knot there, you'll go insane. So that center pole needs to go in the middle of these two panels because they tie to the rope that extends out. So they're moving the center pole now. Okay, now this time I want you to just throw it away, just like it doesn't mean anything. You're a marmot. <laughs> You're a marmot. <laughs> Tent stakes into the grommet and down here. So now that we know a distance of how far that rope should go, so the rope should go right around here, but a little farther out, actually. Okay. Because if you put too many things in the playa close to each other, it just it, you lose the, uh, the, integrity yeah, the integrity of the playa. Yeah. Oh, here's the loop. So then you put the rope. That's why it feels like it must be, it must be coming from all the way. And now I'm going to put some tension. Not a lot. Mm -hmm. Not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot. Tension, 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 tension. And then I put this in here. So if I loop again, I just pull it up. Pull it up. That way. It's, just take it out, add more tension, and then tighten them. So that way you can constantly, through the week, adjust the tension. So that they're pulling the center rope, you want to tie them so that they're keeping the center rope in the same, so not too much tension on them, because we have to tie both tarps. It's coming together, people. So the idea is when you first get there, establish where the shade oh. structure is going to be, and then put all of your stuff you okay? just outside of where that's going to go. Gotcha. That way you can turn around, get your stuff, turn around, put it together. We have endeavored to label all of the bags, with all the parts. Shutter is hard at work on that now. Well, we're going to put the uh, side panels together. So okay. We'll live next to one another in the same bag. We'll put the back panel in with it, and then we'll put the two corners together. And then the top, I think the top can speak for itself. Uh, I think so. There are five long ones, four to make the square, and one crossbar. There are four middle size, which are the corner vertical legs. And there are four smaller size, which are the middle legs that go in the halfway between the corners. Final words. Lacey, plug it in. Be cool, it'll work out. Plug it in. But if you don't do it, it won't get done. <laughs> it's in case there's Marlin jumping oh. through our camp, you gotta go, ah, kill him! Kill him! Marlin Spike. I would say bring a Barbie doll, saran wrap, and some, uh, and some baby oil. It's the last year Burning Man is going to happen. You're not taping me, are you? Stop that! So we don't need the monkey anymore? Uh, oh, we'll, we'll need the monkey. Don't kid yourself. Godzilla video. Godzilla! Godzilla! Before, French doors were separating the sunroom. By moving them, an easy flow is created between the living room and the new den. We've added two pieces of art, and now you can see into the sunroom, mm -hmm. which is now again. <laughs> it looks great.